Hello everyone. What a busy day for the Amazon Luna family. So there was a lot of stuff announced today. One, officially launched in the whole continental U.S. So anyone, anywhere, there's no more early access. You can simply sign up in the U.S. So um, feel free to sign up now. Test it after watching my video. Um, let me know what you think. Uh, tell me about your experience, how it worked for you, and let me know any questions you have. Um, along with that, they actually added a bunch of new channels to the service, so including a free one. So any of you Prime members out there, you can actually play a rotating library of games, as you can see here. So right now we've got Fogs, we've got Devil May Cry 5, fantastic game. We've got Flashback, Observer System Redux, really good game, uh, Observer. So I highly recommend at least these two, and they're free. So many of us are Prime members. Um, use your free Prime member you know, game playing on here right now. Uh, they also added a retro channel, which is fantastic. I saw a couple in here that I actually already want to play. Um, 1943 for sure. 1942 for sure. I thought there was Missile Command or something. Didn't I? Yeah, right there. Look at that. Missile Command we're going to play. Super Breakout we're going to play. Okay, I'm getting too hyped up. Um, they added a Jackspo Jackbox game channels, which <laughs> I love the Jackbox games. Um, number three in particular is probably one of my favorites. Um, the amazing amount of games in there. Then obviously we have the Luna Couch. I've shown that one off before. The ability to play with family and friends online, but almost make it feel like you're sitting on the couch together. Uh, couch co-op or couch PVP is just great um, in that channel. And then obviously we have the Luna Plus, which has been the, their their big mainstay library, Ubisoft Plus. So if you sign up with the Ubisoft Plus subscription, then you get all the Ubisoft games um, able to play here through Amazon Luna. Again, fantastic. And Family Channel, which I've shown on off before. Um, very family-friendly games. Great stuff for you and the kids to enjoy together. Or heck, just me. I enjoy some of the games in there. Uh, particularly, I like this uh, Garfield Kart Racing. Really fun racing game. But the other thing they added today which I was super waiting for, was the ability to broadcast directly from Luna. So you can see I'm on the Luna page here. All I'd have to do is simply click, broad, click broadcast. You can see my Twitch and Luna already connected, so it pulls up my profile here. I simply hit set up your broadcast, and it will load up your little broadcast settings page. Bam! So here you go. So from here, we can turn on our camera, which this that this probably won't work because I'm using my camera right now on OBS. But we'll try to kick it on, click it on. Yep, there it goes in the air. <laughs> but normally it would it will just use your existing camera. We'll turn you can turn on your microphone from here. But again, I'll turn that off because I'm using it on OBS. Um, and then you have the ability to actually move the camera wherever you want it. So let's say you're playing a game where a lot of the UI for party or something like that is in the upper left. So you can do it in the top right. So you'll put your camera right here in the upper right. Fantastic. It has a beautiful kind of purple overlay that's really clean and streamlined. I absolutely love it. You can also update the broadcast title from right here in real time. So you just update it here. You don't have to go to your Twitch uh, dashboard page. Save it. And then once you have all that set up, you simply click Start Live Broadcast. So we'll do that now, and I'll show you what it looks like. But first, let me let everyone know, just quick fit test. No need to say hi, unless you want to. OK, we'll save that. We will start a live broadcast. Yes, let's go live. And what you'll notice is this is going to give you a live preview. That pulled up my Twitch chat for me. I'm going to close that for now and show you how I use that later. So you can see. So normally you would have my camera right here wherever I set it. And then this is what the viewers are seeing. It's just this Luna just chatting page. It's fantastic. You also have your stream chat here. So if you do have a second screen, um, I think the bonus for this setup is you can just do it with a single stream uh, low-end computer. Um, but if you do have a second uh, screen, then you can just look at the stream chat here. Okay, so we've started the broadcast. So what I like to do, you can see I have one dedicated window to my broadcast page here, but then I also have another window where I've signed into Luna where I like to launch the game from. So what that allows me to do is we will launch control here. What that allows me to do is have my game screen, right? But then I can just go back to this page and change where my camera is in real time. 
um, while my game's still playing. If, if you just use this screen and launched from here, let's say I started this and then went back to library here and started the launch from here, then I wouldn't be able to do that, right? So my suggestion would be have two separate windows, not two separate tabs, do two separate windows um, and do one for your settings here so you can adjust the camera in real time just because games have different UIs, right? And if you want to change it on the fly, this gives you the ability to do that. Just a little tip that I had learned. So we're in the game. And as you saw earlier, there is actually a Twitch overlay, which I was wanting before I realized it actually exists already. <laughs> um, so if you hit shift tab or on your Luna controller, which I highly recommend, click the guide button. It'll pull up your uh, settings here. Click on broadcast options and you will see right here, you can pause, stop the broadcast. You can turn your video cam off and on, microphone off and on, and then Twitch chat overlay on. Bam, look at that. Now we can move wherever you want on the screen. So we'll put it like over here. Um, and then we can just start playing the game. So we'll continue the game. This reduces the barrier of entry for up and coming content creators so immensely. I don't think people realize how incredible this is for people that want to get into it that are just so scared of taking that plunge. But let's say they have one PC system that just isn't very strong. They have a, a student laptop, right? That's all they have is a student laptop, like my daughter who just has a Chromebook. Um, you can take her Chromebook now. I could stream a game, play that game, be able to watch chat all just on one screen and enjoy the entire experience. Um, and the viewers... On, on their side, um, it looks, it just looks fantastic. They, they wouldn't even know. You can see that the picture looks great. The camera would be right here. Um, would just be a fantastic experience. So that was the main stuff I wanted to show you. You can see they've, uh, they've really kind of knocked it out of the park. The engineers over there at Amazon Luna already knocked it out of the park with the, the tech on the streaming side. But now with this addition, they've really kind of upped the game. So Great job over there, Luna team. This is uh, this is really good. It's really good stuff. So if you have any questions at all, feel free to ping me on Twitter. Um, usually talking about anything gaming related over there. Um, or just shoot me an invite if you want to play a game sometime. Thanks again, everyone, for uh, hanging out. I'm going to get back to gaming now. I will see you all later. Bye-bye.